So guys, today I'm just going to do a quick video uh, to show how I make dough boys. Uh, a little while ago I showed you how I make pea soup and I had some dough boys in it and some people have been asking me to show how I make dough boys. The only thing about it, the way I make dough boys for pea soup and the way I make them for a cooked dinner like we're having here today is a bit different. So today I'll show you uh, how I make them for a cooked dinner. Uh, it's the vegetables and salt meat and peas pudding and stuff in the pot there and got a goose roasting up during the oven. And uh, and the next time I has pea soup, I'll show you how I do it, uh, how I make them for pea soup. Uh, pretty much the same ingredients, it's just a little difference in how I mix them up. Now, we like a lot of dough boys and we like to have them left over as well. So I'm going to use two cups of flour. Right here I got the bacon powders. Now I normally just eyeball it, but for this I'm going to... Uh, the two rounded teaspoons of baking powders and a little bit more. <laughs> you know, some people put salt and butter in their dough boys, but uh, I keep this pretty simple. Now I just mix in a bit of water. Uh, I just want to until I got a bit of this consistency right here. Uh, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if the the camera was recording up my head and water. Make sure your hands is clean. I put a little bit of flour in my hands and then I just tears off a bit of dough, so as I want. And I just roll it in the balls. See, and that's gonna be one dough by there. Okay, yeah. Also a large amount of plate here for when I need to kneel. Another little tiny bit of flour in my hands. Tear off another bit of dough and just print that there. A little bit of flour. Tear off a bit of that dough. I think you can do it on the counter too or something like yeah. Yeah, there's something, but I'll use my two hands. Tear off a bit of dough. Right there. Another little tiny bit of flour in my hands, and I'm tear this big chunk here right in half. It'll make two, roughly in half. Being in just rolled around until you mix like a ball. And don't take very long. I don't need to put no flour in my hands this time. Good luck. See that stuck in my hand? So, a little bit of flour. Now, there he goes. Look at that. Now I'm just going to leave them around the plate till I'm ready to, to put them in the boiler. I haven't got my potatoes in yet. They'll be going in a, in a couple of minutes. And I'm just going to dip a little bit of the, the liquor out of the boiler. Want it too high in the pot because when you push the dough boys in, they're gonna swell. So you must uh, make sure you got enough room there for them. All right, I just put the potatoes in and kind of cool down a bit, and uh, the boiler is starting to uh, boil there again now. So I'm gonna take the lid off. Jeez. Jeez, look at that. That's that's a dough boy right there. It's just gonna plank them down so far apart in the pot. Just like this. And I'll get one in the center and right there. I'll put one over here like that, I guess. And just cook the lid on top of the vegetables in the pot. I'm going to get the lid on. And I'm going to cook these for 20 minutes. Uh, it's 29 there right now. So I'll come back and show you what they look like uh, every five minutes. And you know, you'll just start to clean right up like that. And uh, nice fluffy dough rise. 
Keep the lid on, don't take the lid off until they're done. All right, it's uh, five minutes in. You can see now they're already a bit bigger. Uh, our hand is now right. This is two hours later. This is 11.34, but we'll come back now at uh, 9.39 and uh, have another little look at them. Well, that's 10 minutes in. We're halfway there, and you can see now they're a bit bigger again. Uh, you know, also, uh, you know, when I'm making dough boys for uh, pea soup, if I was using that same amount of flour, that would be like a dozen or so smaller dough boys. But these are bigger and fluffier, you know, so. But look at that, I must say. Make sure I do look good. All right, we're 15 minutes in, just another five minutes to go. And oh boy, they are sure looking good. As well, you know, uh, we cook our vegetables with salt beef, and so that brat, you know, is really tasty. So that, that brat that you're cooking in and coming up around them is just adding a flavor to the dough. All right, 20 minutes is up. I'm just gonna take the lid off and turn off the boiler here now. Never should gen. Oh my, look at that, look at that. Just look at these. Oh. Now that's what I call a, a plate full of yumminess right there. Well guys, here he is, dough boys. And uh, I'm just gonna, I got two forks. You don't want to cut a dough boy, you almost got to be kind of tearing apart. Look at that there. I'm just gonna taste this here. Stuck to the plate there a little bit. Some people put like molasses over them, some people put even a hot red berry jam and different things like that. But we're just going to enjoy these with, uh, well, smothered in goose gravy. Uh, when I was uh, mixing up the dough boys, uh, adding the water, the camera wasn't rolling, so I'm making another batch now and I'm going to add this clip in. And I'm just going to do the same. Uh, right here, I got two cups of flour and two rounded teaspoons of baking powders and a little bit more. And I actually don't measure off the amount of water I use, I just stir and add a bit of water. and until I get it to, to the right uh, consistency that I like, then I stop adding water. Uh, you know, when people told me, you know, or asked me, uh, you know, to show you how I make them. So this is this is what I do, and, uh, and it works good for me. And this is my flour and baking powders. And I'm just going to tilt this so you can see. And I just adds a bit of water and just stirs. Adds a bit of water and stir, and this is exactly what I done the other day. Well, actually yesterday <laughs> and now uh, when I get close to the right I just slow down and just stir it a bit make sure I don't overdo it the water I think that looks pretty good looks a little sticky so I'll probably add a little bit of flour to it but that's all right now just some flour there in the corner uh, then I'm just gonna take a pinch of salt and just sprinkle over the dough and Too sticky, I'll get it. Well guys, I should add, you know, since I got another batch done here, I make this uh, same amount all the time because uh, these uh, well, these six dough boys like this fit in the boiler that I use just perfect. If I had to use more flour, make more dough boys as they plim, they'd be pushing against each other and uh, they wouldn't turn out quite as good. Uh, so this amount just works perfect for the size of boiler I use and, and so this is pretty much how I make them all the time. Here the dough boy part. some molasses over it like that. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. 